Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested.com. I'm here at New York Comic Con 2017, and I want you to meet Keith Boone. Keith, you run Toy Cube, and how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, some of you may know Keith from some of the po pictures I've shared on Instagram in the past, because I used to collect designer toys that you designed, the Sharky series, and uh, it's been amazing. It's so nice to meet you, but you run Toy Cube. What, is, what does Toy Cube do? Uh, we make uh, art collectibles, uh, vinyl, like designer vinyls, and now we are a uh, we are online store plus a producer for uh, art collectibles, and we change uh, we kind of transform a 2D drawings or a painting into a 3D sculpture from other artists. Yeah. So in the designer community, we see a lot of artists, whether they work in like a 2D medium or a 3D medium, like sometimes sculptors, are very, it's very expensive to buy their original sculpt. So you create like the designer toy, the vinyl version or the resin copy that is more accessible to the masses. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the idea. Like, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, still into, you know, collecting uh, sculpture from one of their favorite artists. However, maybe sometimes I go through the gallery they only make five pieces, ten pieces. Uh, sometimes, you know, the price might be uh, a little higher for them to, uh, you know, to get it, or maybe too limited, so they can't get a whole, uh, you know, get a hand on it. But what we do is like we also make it a limited run, but in a smaller edition. Maybe sometimes like between 100 to 200, so it allows like more of their fans able to get it, and. Um, you know, instead of like just looking online and never able to get them. Yeah. Well, let's talk about some of these collaborations because an artist you work with is a uh, Josh Keys, and if you if you guys Google Josh Keys, you'll see his his two D art, his paintings are are beautiful, conceptual, right? And you've turned some of his pictures, his art, into statues. So t tell me about these pieces that you have here. Yeah, uh, we're working with Josh is one of our you know owner because uh, we so far we have I can show you one here. Uh, this piece called a lifted two. This is the first piece we worked with Josh a couple years back and look at this like If you collect his print and you should know like The detail from the print we try we try our best to you know transform from a print 2d print painting drawings into a 3d sculpture Yeah, and all these made in resin so we got really uh, well, a decent weight to it, and all the paint deco is like really uh, close to the uh, painting head that he did. Do you have a team in house of designers that sculpt it in, in like ZBrush or do a 3D model and work with like an artist like Josh to make sure that from every angle, because his his original artwork is just from one perspective, but it still looks like you can get a sense that it's supposed to be a 3D, like you see the geometric shape. So how do you make sure he approves every single angle? Oh yeah, like uh, approval time, like it's so we we, we, we have a team. And we have a traditional sculptor, and also we have a 3D sculptor, like model. Like we, it depends on what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of design we want. We are working on. So this is actually based out from a uh, hand sculptor. Yes, and this is a 3D, and this is all by hand. Yeah. This one's by hand. I love these, by the way. I, I, I have a pair at home that I bought, but these, the hermit and um, this, this hermit crabs in the two, the t um, there are two shells, I guess. Like, they were prints originally, but they look so so striking. You can walk around them, and they just, great concepts. Yeah, yeah, we, I think we spent maybe like four months minimum uh, when we started to sculpt it and, you know, taking pictures of the skull process and send it to Josh and you know we work together to get it get it right because from the print you know it's only like a the front maybe a 45 degree so we have to you know to work on the top to work on the side from our imaginations yeah what are some of the artists that you're still working with right now to turn their art into these collectible sculptures oh yeah there, there are like uh, many of them that we we're working on for 2017 and there's more for 18. I can show you more on the other side. Yeah, Yeah, let's go check them out. All right, Keith, I see in the back wall here just display cases full of unique pieces. Tell me some of the artists that you're working with. Oh, yes, sure. Uh, so like this piece, The Astronauts uh, by Arnex Pardee. Uh, we started to work with Arnex about two years ago, and we came up with the first piece, uh, 
astronauts, and actually, and also we won the best resin uh, last year with this character. And this is the new colorway that we'll be uh, releasing this month at uh, 3D Retro, and we will be doing a signing with Alex at 3D Retro as well. And this is the second character we work with Alex as well. Um, have a nice day. Uh, as you can see, only half the face. Okay, uh, and these are the new pieces with uh, Stephen Harrington. Uh, this entire series that we call it the signature series, the whole idea is like, uh, we would like to build something that we don't even need to put a name tag on it. And once you walked in, you if you are the, uh, in the fans, you know who he is. You know right. who the artist is because these are the, they're a signature, you know, iconic uh, character or signature character. Yeah, no, totally. If you read like Clutter magazine or or Juxtapose, like these are artists that you see pop up in those magazines all the time. Just like their iconic works. Yeah. Uh, but what about you? What about your own work? Like any more Sharkies coming in the future? No, uh, I don't. I don't think so. And I I'm still thinking about you know maybe doing some new uh, vinyl toy under my name. But actually, the Astro Boy we did with. Um, the license, and this is my design, my concept, uh, but uh, everything goes to my brand. So if you guys are you know, into my work or into our company, you know, the brand, and you can go to our website and find more, yeah. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Keith, for a little bit of your time. I'm totally geeking out right now because I really collected stuff and I buy stuff from your store all the time. Thank it's a pleasure to meet you.